Welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm your host, Ostrich Vox, and it's that time of the week again. Get mad at Teen Titans Go time! Yay! Now, before I dive in as usual, I want to make it very clear. I do not hate Teen Titans Go. I do not think it's the spawn of Satan. If anything, I think people are way too critical in the series. Honestly, the show gives me that vibe of those animated parodies you find on the internet, and I find it kind of admirable they've managed to keep it going for this long. Anyways, you may have heard that the past few weeks, the original Teen Titans has been airing on Cartoon Network throughout the day. At first it was just at 6am, but now it's expanding to 3pm and weekends. And it still holds up pretty well, it's thoroughly enjoyable to this day. While it's been a really big treat, there's a hidden truth to it that may upset a lot of people. Let's flash back to July, where DC's booth and pamphlet at San Diego Comic Con feature artwork of the original anime titans beating the snot out of the Go incarnations. This wasn't just a funny jab at the four years and running controversy of how the 2003 series is leagues ahead of Go, but a tease at an upcoming episode. Airing Friday, September 15th at 6pm, an episode of Teen Titans Go titled Classic Titans will premiere on Cartoon Network. The synopsis, courtesy of zap to it reads, Control Freak attempts to prove his point about classic superhero cartoons by sending the Titans to a former version of Teen Titans Go. I think it goes without saying that the former version of Teen Titans Go is definitely the 2003 series, as that's the only pre-existing version of Teen Titans Go in animated form, although it'd still be nice if there was for a loop and they were sent to the original version of the Teen Titans from the comics. But unfortunately, I doubt that'll be the case. So it can be viewed as pretty unfortunate that Teen Titans has been rerunning just as undercover promotion for this episode. So the new demographic and fans of Teen Titans Go will be able to play that just a joke of, hey, these are two different series. But I can't say I'm angry about it. Even if the original Teen Titans fades from the schedule shortly after the premiere of this episode, since the debut of Go, I've been advocating for a little programming block that consists of both Go and the original back-to-back, -back, and we were able to get that from this episode. Even if it is just for Go, kids were able to experience the original 2003 series, which is a huge success all on its own. Hey, it may even have some new fans now. All things considered, I am happy with this outcome, but the episode itself may or may not change that. It probably won't. I'm sure, as usual, this will result in a massive backlash of fans, no matter how this episode turns out. The Go version of the characters could get the floor mopped with them, but if there's some message about how the two shows are different, and the fact people need to accept that they're different, people will bash the series harder than ever. There's also been pretty compelling cases made against these types of episodes, and their message. For example, if they want us to get off their case and accept it's a different show, why do they keep making these episodes referencing the old show and its critical reception online? To which I have to say, they keep doing it because it works. It generates buzz, it gets people talking about the show, and I'm sure they have a lot of fun writing those episodes. I wouldn't be surprised if that's an instance of bad publicity is good publicity. I'm very intrigued and very excited to see how this all turns out. Again, I haven't seen every episode of Teen Titans Go, but episodes like Wally T and the abridged version of the first episode of the original had some pretty amusing moments. Put down the pitchforks and torches for a second, and you may even see that. Or we may have two different senses of humor, that's always a possibility. And as always, these are just my thoughts, and I'd love to hear yours, so please, let's get the discussion going in the comment section below. Are you intrigued in this episode, or are you upset that they're once again targeting the original Teen Titans? just so people can get talking about the show and it'll get a ratings boost, so on and so forth. Those aren't legitimate reasons, by the way, that's just speculation on my end. And if you want to get the conversation going beyond the comments, you can follow us on Twitter at RoundtableVids, along for other social media, and you can tweet to me at OstrichVox, and be sure to follow the rest of our hosts while you're at it. All of those in the description down below. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications so you can never miss a video from the Roundtable. And if you enjoyed this one, please sort of like, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. I hope you have a beautiful day, and Ostrich Fox signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved with our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.